So I wanted to um, create kind of a video that might give you some information on Sinclair Lewis and why he is significant. So we're going to kind of start from the beginning and I'll give you some background. And it really starts with a war. So there was a war and this war, everything, everything, just gone. This war divided nations, governments fell. And it was a bloody and destructive conflict, right? In this war, between 10 to 12 million people were slaughtered. And this was a war that the United States desperately tried to stay out of. But eventually they got dragged into this bloody quagmire. And it was a war that was known to fight for democracy, a war for freedom. But it was such a bloody and destructive conflict. By the time the war ended the world was exhausted because governments had fallen, the monarchs crumbled, and there was kind of this new world order that was starting to emerge. Now, the war that I'm referring here is World War I. And as the war ended, right, and we, the country sort of shifted in the 1920s, there was the emergence of a, of a new writer named Sinclair Lewis. And Sinclair Lewis might have been the right person at the right time because what happened was the world needed a break. They needed a break from the horror of war. And in the 1920s, as the economy was booming and as we moved to kind of uh, the roaring 20s, right, Sinclair Lewis was in the right place at the right time and gave Americans uh, a needed break from what had just happened. And Lewis, in many ways, was ahead of his time, right? Lewis is, was very funny, and he was making commentaries on American society, and the American people loved Lewis. But it wasn't just the American people, right? The world loved uh, Sinclair Lewis, so much so that Sinclair Lewis would go on to win the Pulitzer Prize for Literature, and he'd be the first American to win the Nobel Prize for Literature. And what Lewis was doing in a lot of his writing, right, he was making a commentary on American society, kind of making fun of capitalism. It was very much kind of a satire, and it was just what America needed. But as Lewis's career sort of expanded, right, as we move into the 20s, from the 20s into the 30s, Right, there's an argument that really suggests that Lewis is the greatest writer of the 1920s, that it's really not Ernest Hemingway, it's not F. Scott Fitzgerald, but it's really Sinclair Lewis. But as the country and the world changed from a roaring economy into the Great Depression, Lewis's significance even, even grew more because Lewis started to criticize some of the changes that we were seeing in the world. So as we saw the emergence of fascism, and the emergence of communism, Lewis writes the book that we're going to read, It Can't Happen Here, where he writes an imaginary United States where a demagogue uh, runs for president, gets elected, and then ends up establishing a dictatorship. And so he was very critical of Hitler and fascism, of communism and Stalinism. And really what Lewis did was he paved the way for writers like George Orwell. Ten years before Orwell would be writing 1984, Lewis was writing It Can't Happen Here. I'm going to go so far to say that Lewis, look, opened up the door for every major figure, uh, literary figure in the 19, uh, that would emerge after the 1920s, right? I mean, he paved the way for John Updike, for Philip Roth. Uh, you can look at his works being as the, really the beginning of, like, The Simpsons TV show, right? Lewis paved the way for questions of what does it mean to be a man before we see things like A Streetcar Named Desire. What is the role of capitalism in society for Arthur Miller's death of a salesman? So Lewis was really revolutionary ahead of his time. He was looking at issues of feminism just as the women were getting the right to vote. So Lewis was really revolutionary and ahead of his time. Uh, and then as the World War II broke, broke out, right, I think Lewis lost a little bit of his focus, America's interest changed, and Lewis maybe have fell out a little bit of favor. But I wanted to just create a video that gives you kind of a background because I'm going to argue uh, my thesis on Lewis is going to be like, look, he is one of the most 
influential writers in all of American literature, and perhaps the greatest writer to come out of the 1920s. And really what he did was he paved the way for future writers. All the future writers in the last half of the 20th century really owe themselves um, to Sinclair Lewis. So I'll be curious to see what your bio is or, or what the fun facts that you come up with on Sinclair Lewis. But I also wanted to just add this video so that you have kind of a little background of, of who he is and why he's important.